and foremost, how are you feeling? I feel great. Uh, I really do. Um, what a difference, um, you know, getting out of the hospital yesterday and then even waking up this morning. Um, I just feel I, I, it's hard to put into words how much better I feel than than I did the last few months. And, and it makes you realize that, you know, I thought I wasn't feeling great, obviously, but um, the way I feel just waking up the next last few mornings and getting rolling around today, um, uh, I'm grateful that uh, I got this done and, and uh, ready, to, ready to move forward. What were some of the symptoms that you were experiencing that led you to get checked out and eventually have the procedure? Yeah, it's been the last couple months, you know, I, was, I just felt like a little more lethargic, a little more fatigued. Um, you know, I was having some episodes where I would stand up and feel like I was almost going to black out or certainly dizzy. Um, I was I was really starting to get winded on some simple tasks. And especially, I think, the last week or so, um, you know, I noticed it just like, you know, I played, played catch the other day with Glaber, and when I got done with it, I was just like, winded just from playing catch and and you know i think just some people you know i think even a few of the coaches that i told and i, I told cash um but i think like you know hark and nev started that um you know i wasn't i wasn't quite myself or quite as uh good so they played a role in helping me you know get my butt in there and and i'm really excited that i did it and, and feel great right now Prior to going in for the procedure, it was important to you that you spoke to your team first and they actually saw you. Why was that such an important step in the process of getting this done for you? Yeah, just because I hadn't, I really hadn't spoken to anyone about it. Um, I kind of went into the hospital a little suddenly the night before, like I, I hadn't planned on doing that. And I just wanted them to know that, you know, I was very at ease with, with everything that I knew I, I was going to have to go through the next couple of days. Um, you know, I just wanted to make sure that they weren't too worried about me and that they're, you know, focused on on the task at hand, which is obviously getting ready for our season. But I just thought it was important that I communicated with them because, I, you know, I know having gone down this heart road a lot over the course of my life, you know, I know when people hear things, um, you know, it's it can certainly it gets your attention when it's a matter of the heart. And I totally understand that. I just wanted to make sure that they knew that I was in a good place and going to be all right. What did they tell you in the video they sent back to wish you well? <laughs> yeah, so Gardy Gardy was out in front with it and kind of spoke for everyone, and it was just it was cool to see them and you know see knowing that they care and just wanted to make sure I was all right. And then hearing some of the wise comments at the end that guys chimed in with uh, was really funny. When you had the first heart procedure, did you always know this could be a possibility down the line? No, not this. Um, you know, I, I've always known that there's something related to what I went through that, you know, maybe pop up. But I do think this is something that's different, um, you know, and, and that's why when I originally went through all my checkups and stuff back in New York and then down here, everything was checking out well with the procedure I had and with the issues I've had in the past. So this is something different. Um, I did not expect this at all. Um, it, it very much snuck up on me, but um, I'm glad we got to the bottom of it because I, I really do feel so much better. You seem like you have a ton of energy, like you mentioned. When are you going to be back here at Steinbrenner Field? Yeah, I'm hoping maybe, you know, tomorrow we're on the road. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to, if, right now it's about passing intake. I mean, I, I'd probably be there today if it wasn't for that. So uh, I got tested yesterday, today. Did an, I actually came to the parking lot to get a rapid test a little bit earlier. Um, so hopefully all goes well with that and I'm back in in the in our little bubble, so to speak, and uh, and I can get back to work. I know you are itching to get back here and to see your guys play. Luckily, we'll have you for nine innings today on the Yes Network, so you can watch your team that way. Uh, but we are all extremely um, happy that you came through the procedure well, and we're going to see you back on the field soon. Thanks, Meredith, and thank you to to you and everyone with Yes, and just everyone really throughout the world that it's been overwhelming the amount of people that have reached out to me and it's been touching and humbling and I'm I'm so grateful for it and and just happy to hopefully get back here real soon but thank you